Right, nine o'clock, back on the track. I was up, up through there behind them two trees. Not far from the track. Bit of a foggy one this morning. She got woken up about five o'clock. Some pigs were like grunting around, like just over the hill behind me. So sort I of didn't know what it was at first. Sort of the grunting sounded like a dog that couldn't really bark. So it was just hanging around for about half an hour and then it sort of took off. There's been lots of little areas like this, place for a few tents, nice and flat. But um, I prefer to be in the trees if I can. And sort of a place like this where there's like motorbikes can access easily. You never know if someone's going to come up, do some spotlight hunting or anything. So Best uh, stay away from any uh, dodgy activity if you can. Uh, about 2k away from where the, um, the slip is. And I uh, heard from locals that I saw yesterday, so yeah, should be able to cross it, no worries. But as usual, I'll um, take a look, be careful, assess it for myself, and uh, look for any other options if there are any. At the slip. Um, yeah, there's lots of footprints through here. I reckon I'm going to give it a go. Um, there's even like push bike tracks, so someone's like wheeled a, a mountain bike through here. All right, I'll just uh. Yeah, follow these footprints and um, get to the other side. Okay, on the other side of the slip. Um, it's been six months, so it's well and truly settled. Um, yeah. But yeah, she is a big one. Way down there. Uh, the route I took, well, this is looking south. It was like, uh, you just head up, up that way, and, uh, yeah. And it took about eight minutes. Um, but, yeah, the sign does say closed. But after six months, he's uh, well and truly settled. Um, I was quite confident as soon as I saw the um, the mountain bike tracks. Like if, if someone's taken a mountain bike up through there, uh, walking it that is, um, yeah, all good. But do at your own risk, um, disclaimers and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, when I was coming through, originally when I got to Afango, that's the, the night that it actually did slip away. Um, so, yeah, that's why I skipped the whole section in the beginning. Anyway, uh, uh, along we go and find some water and uh, I think I should add further to dis the disclaimer. Uh, it's been about a week of no rain. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, just thought I'd add that in. Just a foggy day with a gravel track going through the bush. There's little pull-off points uh, along the way. Maybe another spot for a tent if you need to. Lots of tuis making their tui noises. This has been uphill for a really long time. All right, at intersection, just came from there. And if I got my map reading correct, I go this way. I had to remember I'm going north and not south. So hopefully just around the corner there's a confidence marker or something. Uh, nope. But I think it's the right way. Yep, I'm going the right way. It's a 13.7k to Afango. And it's uh, 10.30. Um, to see what the time is when I get there. Whether I stay there or continue walking down to um, National Park. Or Hitch or whatever. But I'll, yeah, get to Afango and then um, sort that out when I get there. The apple tree, little birds eating them apples. I'm guessing these roads were for logging uh, back in the old days. Stop to get some water, lovely fresh and cold. And soya squeeze still working good on the gravity. Oops, nearly full. I think that's deer tracks. Uh, about 11.30 and the sun's, well, still hiding. A little bit of blue sky up there. I probably won't see any deer because I'm playing some music because it's, yeah, so I thought I might. And a little stream crossing. 
Um, yeah, I guess I'll just get my feet wet. Or will I? Yeah. Still got the waterproof socks on. You just feel like the temperature, but you don't feel wet. Um, I'm going to just keep wearing them. Uh, yeah, give them a good trial. In the clouds again. Here's a bridge. How many fast? Place your bits now. Then. Um, signpost, we must be somewhere. squares okay I see a picnic table so I'm gonna go there and have a picnic uh, oh that's pretty cool No swimming today. I think this is about 3k from um, a thing of yeah, the toilets there. I had quite a large break down by the river there. Down there. Three K to uh, a finger. Sort of a place down there where people come and do skids, or uh, people sit in their van and get iry with jar. So not recommended for camping. Hmm. 
is an incorrect sign. The uh, trail app says go this way. I'm going this way. All right, back here again. Uh, 1,070. So that's uh, section one of redemption done. down that road to Tamaranui, but already done that, so, yeah. Off to me accommodation. Same place as last time, just staying inside, not in the tent. All right. Accommodation down there, and I'm going to Check out the calf, what time that opens in the morning. And walk to the end of that road just to complete the loop.